What's up guys, it's your boy Molo, and this is the second side, or the second map I should say, of the 1v1 series that I'm starting on Black Ops 2. As you guys can see, this guy stunned twice, went behind the tank, I'm going to wait for him. Now, I want to keep a, I want to keep the visibility clear. I see he's on top of the tank. And what what the reason I was challenging so openly like that is because I know he has an SMG. Um, confidence also played a big key. I felt like he couldn't outgun me, uh, even though he's host. But like I said in the previous one v one, I feel like this guy is is very hard headed. I feel like he's always gonna keep doing that. So this is gonna give me an opportunity to actually, you know, try to try to mess him up here a little bit. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go straight through the middle from Delhi. Um, if he went a, if he went a on the uh, defense I feel like he's gonna go a on offense as well and what do you know it looks like he's coming straight here I don't know where from but we will see he might have just threw that stun and went back brown that's something somebody with an SMG would do and my screen is black for some reason and I can't see all right there we go Oh my god, I didn't just say yeah, There he is. Alright, there we go. I had to I had to stay quiet for a little bit because uh, for some reason this, this game is lagging for me. If you guys can see the skippiness and it's really annoying. Um, but I was confident to reload right there. I knew that I had to because I only had a few bullets left in my clip because I didn't reload from the last gunfight I was in. But um, I don't know. I feel like every time I'm in that little corner, I get I get screwed over. But it ended up working out for me. Um, it was pretty brave. <laughs> but like I said, I feel like this guy's gonna go A and stun it again just to try to prevent that rush. So I'm gonna take this time and go straight through B and push behind his tank if he does what he did last game. And that's what he seems like he's doing. And hopefully he pushed all the way around and I'll come right behind him. I'm not playing too safe here. I'm playing kind of aggressive. But then again, this is a 1v1 and I feel like the guy just did a circle because he thinks I'm going B. So I'm going to go ahead and plant this, get behind the tractor. He used both of his stuns, so he shouldn't be able to win this. Because I still have mine and a nade left. And he's middle map. Hopefully I get him with that nade, and I do. So there you guys have it. Playing aggressive really does work. And by the way, this host is really bad. I don't get it. Like, this host is... I, I, you know what? I don't even think it's the host that's bad. I think it's just the fact that Black Ops servers, people have different types of connections. Like, somebody would have Time Warner Cable and I have Comcast. And I feel like it just... They don't work together properly and it makes you skip. I don't know if you guys ever uh, felt that before. If you have, put it in the description box. But... It just seems like a reoccurring thing that happens with me every time I play with somebody. See, I'm skipping right there. Like, I don't I don't like that at all. All right, that was a quick round. <laughs> but but anyway, <laughs> as you guys as you guys could see, he stunned Middle Delhi because that's where I went previously. And this guy, I'm it seems like I'm two levels ahead this ahead of this guy. Um, catching him off guard, doing things that he's not really aware of. Um, but that's how you have to be. You have to be very unpredictable in 1v1s, and that's what I'm doing. So, um, this guy has been stunning A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bomb straight to A, but I'm going to wait for his stuns to go off. And once his stuns go off, that will mean I'm pretty much clear to go towards A. Hopefully he doesn't hit me with one of them. Alright, he didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and rush A. I feel like he threw his stun back wall to make sure I wasn't there. And that's why I waited. Um, but his stun did miss. I see him in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and stun him. And I got him with my grenade. <laughs> and this guy is seems to be. If I was him, I'd be so mad. Just because he's doing all the right things, but it's not working for him because I'm playing it smart. Like I knew he was gonna throw a stun grenade back white wall. So I waited in the corner, and it's just it's just being predictable. I, you know, it, the stuff that he's doing is, is 
you should never waste your tacticals that much in a 1v1 if, if it ever comes to that. And I do have a Hellstorm, and I am going to sit back and I am going to use it because I feel like he's going to just rush straight through the middle again. And hopefully he goes towards A and I can get this kill because I think that would be a pretty sweet kill cam. Actually, I might just sit back here in my spawn be a better place and then use it. I'm going to throw a stun grenade to make him know that I'm going A. And he'll probably try to flank out toward... There he is right there. I'm going to go ahead and use it. And this guy... Oh my god, I got to kill him before he kills me! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this 1v1 shit is fun. <laughs> but anyway, it's your boy Boho. That was a pretty quick series or an episode right there. But that was pretty intense. I figured the guy saw me. Because if you saw what he did, he looked towards the left when he was by tank. So that was pretty crazy. Um, but anyway, it was pretty clutch on my part. If you guys like this and want me to continue this... Please like, favorite, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.